G'day. I can't believe I've had the IC9700 six and a half years now and I've only just taken the, uh, the covers off to have a peek inside. The reason I'm doing that is because at the time, back in 2019, I uh, bought one of these from Minikits. This is the GPS9700 uh, reference locking kit. And that came with the coupler board. And with the coupler board, you were to solder it to this uh, TCXO uh, shield down here. Now, I didn't like the idea of soldering because at the time, you know, warranty dramas, if you leave evidence that you've been dicking around with the radio, you, you know, that, that could open a can of worms. So at the same time, I also bought one of these. This is the Leo Bodner injection board. And this seemed like a much more elegant solution. So you just unscrewed these, or removed these two screws here. The Leo Bodner injection board goes there. It's got spaces. And we can see the uh, inductor there, which just sits nicely above where it needs to be. And you've got a pair of uh, longer screws to hold that board down. You also got a short lead where you just run that back out to the uh, to the rear of the radio here. I was unscrewing this and um, this SMA was a little bit uh, reluctant to come out. So what I've done, I we want to you just don't want to bash it with a hammer or anything. You want to protect the thread. So I've just screwed on one of these um, uh, terminations, SMA terminations, and just with a light tap with the screwdriver, that loosened that up. So now we can remove that. Um, the Leo Bodner instructions uh, suggest that you put this in a bag with the nut and just double side tape inside the radio, can't lose it. So I don't know, we'll think about that. So I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, fit this and I will uh, see if the Mini Kits GPS 9700 has enough drive level for uh, proper locking. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So, using the supplied screws. That's that. Now, I don't really like the idea of having this float around inside, so I'm going to um, actually remove this. I seriously hate these connectors. They are terrible. So there we go, just using some bent pliers. Makes easy work of that short lead that was supplied with the Leo Bodner. Seems a bit on the long side. Back where the original SMA was. And using a 5 6 -tenth. I'm not going to over talk that. All right, so that's that bit done. Covers can go back on. Taking a look at the mini kits, GPS 9700 now. It's on the bench, I've taken the ends off. I've actually been tweaking the uh, the trim pot here, which sets the uh, self-running frequency of the TCXO. So it's not connected to the 10 meg reference. The 10 meg reference here in this shack is a Trimble Thunderbolt GPSDO, and I've got a Down East Microwave uh, four-way splitter providing uh, four outputs at plus 12 and a half dBm. Output of the GPS 9700 is going off to the Agilent frequency counter, and that's also reference locked to the Trimble Thunderbolt. Let's take a look at that. We can see we're getting, um, this is free running, 49.152.000. Um, point, you know, it, it, it's probably within half a hertz free running. So I'm very happy with that. What I'll do now, I'll just hook up the 10 meg reference to it. And look at that, 49.152.000.0, call that 0.02. So it's 0.1 of a hertz, 0.02 of a hertz. So that's uh, that's real good. Like I was saying, the output of the four-way splitter system is uh, plus 12 dBm. So I've got uh, an 18 dB SMA attenuator here. The specifications for the GPS 9700 uh, say it's looking for an input from uh, zero d dBm down to minus 20. I've got the Minikits GPS 9700 hooked up to the IC 9700. 
Uh, it's going via one of these. This is a stepped attenuator. This is actually rated up to 2.7 gigahertz. Quite a handy piece of kit to have. So I can switch in attenuation from 0 to 60 dB in 1 dB steps. So just a reminder of what the, the whole point of the exercise is. I want to know if uh, the GPS 9700 will work okay with the Leo Bodner injection board. I'm tuned to my local beacon here. This is VK4RBB. It's GPS locked. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch in some attenuation. And oh, by the way, I've deliberately offset the internal reference. Because, oh, well, there you go, 10 dB. Now, the amount of uh, level coming out of the, um, the, the mini kits isn't obviously enough to swamp the internal reference, as you can hear. Now we're going to digital modes, it's not as easy to pick up compared to a straight carrier. So it, it's it's it does it it's bad with 10 dB. It's one, two, three, four, five, six dB, seven dB, eight, nine. And 10. It's, it stopped working at 10 dB. 9 dB, there's a little bit of a. not quite strong enough. So I'm going to call it as 8 dB. We've, we've got 8 dB of headroom. So as you can see, the Minikits GPS 9700 works really well with the Leo Bodner injection board. There's no soldering involved, it's simply a, a, a screw-in device. So you could easily remove it and return the radio back to normal. And no one would know. So that's an interesting little experiment. Hope you got something out of that. Thanks for watching and you'll see me next time. Cheers. Why do cats have to get in the way of making videos all the time? Come on, Gizmo. Move. Come on. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm in the way, Gizmo. Come on. Boo! Boo! That was the worst thing I ever heard! It was terrible! Horrendous! Well, it wasn't that bad. Oh, yeah? Well, there were parts of it I liked. Yeah, I liked a lot of it. Yeah, it was good. It I... was great! It's wonderful! Oh, bravo! More! More! Now can I say it? Yep. Go away! Scrum! Get out of here! Get out of here! Skedaddle! Go away! Ham's gray! Well, come on. All right.